Look at this place. How in the world did I let it get like this? It's a total freaking mess. Well, today I'm doing a massive closet clean and we're getting that pigsty cleaned out. Hey friends, it's Angela. So good to see you all again today. I'm so glad you're joining me because I need some cheerleaders. Did you see that place? It's a mess. <laughs> How do we let our closets get like that? It's obviously a problem that's been brewing for a while. And I'm sharing it with you guys today because I know I'm not the only one. I think what happens is it gets to that point from several times of just being busy, going in there, grabbing your stuff or shoving it back in and leaving and not really taking the care to kind of put things back in their place. Well, today I'm hoping that my closet clean out is gonna inspire you to get in there and tackle your closet as well. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to kind of process what needs to stay and what needs to go. And I know in the end, you're gonna love seeing how it looks all cleaned up and organized. So come up with me please, and let's get this party train started. All right, I need a plan here. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> So here's a tip. Maybe look at the least offensive area in your closet and start with that. Just, just don't look at like all the shelves. Just start with one shelf because that way it doesn't seem so overwhelming. Okay, starting with the drawers. I'm gonna start with one drawer on the bottom. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. <laughs> I never go in this bottom drawer. Look at it. I was looking for a new shirt in the store and totally forgot I had this one. So this is the beloved t-shirt drawer. So some of these are just gonna have to go. I'm just gonna take everything out first and start over. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's a shirt I haven't seen in years. I used to make cakes. And this was a shirt for my cake business like years ago. Don't need that one. One of my favorite places. Love you, Tennesseans. Yep, that's right. Okay, now some t-shirts cannot be thrown away. This is a picture of my dad. He passed away in 2007. We had these t-shirts made up for him. I can't throw that away. And this is a t-shirt my kids made for him before he passed away. Can't throw that one away either. Okay, so I've weeded some of these t-shirts out and I'm thinking I need a better spot for them because putting them back in this bottom drawer, I'm obviously gonna forget about them again. I'm gonna leave this drawer alone and I'm gonna hang up the ones I'm gonna keep. Okay, so these are the only two t-shirts that are gonna stay in this bottom drawer because I won't really wear them, but I don't wanna throw them out. Bowie? Even Bentley came up to help. This pile on the floor here is already what I have gone through and pulled off my hangers. That's massive. And I still have a ton to go. Drawer number two, let's see what else I forgot about. Oh, tank tops. Underwear and socks. Who doesn't love cleaning out that drawer? <laughs> brand new, never wore them. Here's the thing, if I haven't worn them in two years, I probably won't wear them now. That's something to think about. If you haven't worn something in more than a year, you're probably not going to, so put it in the giveaway pile. Barefoot dreams, ankle socks, love these suckers. Just got some more from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They are so warm and soft. This floor pile is getting massive. I need to get bags immediately and start loading the stuff in. My husband knew I was doing a closet clean out. He put some of his stuff in here. <laughs> Bag number one. You remember when we were all into the camo big time? I just don't wear it anymore. I haven't grabbed for it in probably at least a year. It's another one of those things that if I'm not gonna wear it, I might as well donate it. There was a time, I love these pants. I wore these to the mall walking several times. What happened? My family got totally sick of seeing me wear these. I'm sure you all have stuff like that where it's like you've worn them so many times your family is like, please get something new. <laughs> oh boy. I remember loving this thing in the day. 
tie-dye and the colors in this were totally my thing. I'm sure some of you love your tie-dye. You're never gonna get rid of your tie-dye. But for now, I'm done with tie-dye, but I'm sure it'll be back. Wow, bag number two. Here's another item. I love these shorts. I would have kept these shorts, but guess what? I've gotten too big for them. Can you say I don't think so anymore? Bag number three. It's getting hot in here, but at least I'm starting to see my floor again. Now these jeans, they were article of society. My favorite white jeans, but the problem is they've just got way too much distressing nowadays. Look at all those rips. I looked all summer for a replacement to these jeans. And the problem was either they weren't thick enough and you could see the tags right through the material. That's a no-go. Or they had distressing on them or they just were too expensive or whatever. So never found the replacement for these, but I know I'm not going to wear these anymore. So they're going to be in the giveaway pile. Oh my gosh. Bag number four. <laughs> Look at that floor. I can finally see the floor in my closet. <laughs> we are finally making some progress, ladies. Yay! Because a minute ago, I wanted to die. <laughs> I'm gonna recommend doing this in stages. Like take a day where you work on, you know, one little area and then the next day you do another area. I'm trying to do all this in one time for to make a video and I'm gonna die. <laughs> Next thing we're tackling is this S show right here. Okay. <laughs> Look at the scarves. I mean, I just like come in and boop, just pile it on. Yeah. And here's a short shelf. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome right there too, doesn't it? Let's start over. And now we're working on the skort shelf. So these are all my Lee skorts from Walmart. That's kind of a tongue twister that I'm keeping anyway. And a couple of oldies but goodies. Okay, how many of you have these dresses that you wore in someone's wedding that you'll never wear again? What am I doing hanging on to this? It was a gorgeous dress and it fit the purpose, but I'm never going to wear it again. I'm losing count. What is this, bag five? I think so. <laughs> now, come on. I know you all have this in your closet. Something you bought years ago that you thought looked good on you at the time, and it still has the tags on it meaning I've never worn it. <sighs> I love when we do that, right? But if the tags have been on it for two years, I'm not gonna wear it. Now here's something I've never worn, but there's a story behind it and I can't throw it away. My grandma made this for me. She has passed away now, but the little tag on the inside says made with love for Angie from grandma. I mean, I can't. <laughs> it's gonna stay in my closet. Here's another one that can't go anywhere. My grandpa used to wear these sweatshirts all the time working in his garage. This is the only thing I have left that's his. It's not going anywhere. I'm looking at this dying, okay? 
I have kept these for I don't even know how many years because they were so unique, right? They're like a size two. This body is not getting into these size twos probably ever again. I need to be real, okay? Okay, so out of all the dresses and skirts that I had, I'm keeping four skirts. Four. My husband's gonna be glad I found this. Okay, really? A back massager I haven't used in about 10 years or more? Uh, no. Oh my gosh, all the tools I had when I went through my back surgery. I don't need them anymore and I don't want the memories. I can pretty much guarantee I won't be working in a dental office anymore so all of these scrubs can go. All right, so this makes bag number six. Now here's something as I'm paring down my jeans. These don't fit anymore. They're 27s and I wear 28 right now, so it's not too far off from what I normally wear. And I'm gonna hang on to these still because they fit so well at that size. I don't really wanna pitch these yet until I am, you know, way past the point of not being able to fit into them again. And I hope that doesn't happen. So I'm saying, in that kind of case, when it's one size down from where you are right now and they were expensive, I wouldn't really throw those away. I would hang on to those just in case. Um, but if they are too many sizes from where you are right now, then maybe just give them the pitch. Some of you are gonna be shocked right now. This right here is all my pants. That's all that I'm keeping. So I've got two pair of flare jeans, one pair of straight leg that are darker wash, two skinny jeans, that's it, um, and a couple of pair of color jeans from Walmart, one from White House Black Market, and then I get into a couple, a pair of sweatpants back here, and a pair, one pair of black jeans. So for those of you who think that I have like this a ton of clothes that I pull from all the time, <laughs> If I had 50 pair of jeans, am I really gonna wear 50 pair of jeans? No. So this is what I'm gonna get a lot of use out of on a normal basis. I've pared it down to the favorites, that's it. And I have a little bit of room for new stuff. All right, my ladies, I am shutting it down for today. I have been in there for hours now. I'm gonna go have some dinner, relax, and get back with it tomorrow. Peace out. As you can tell, I'm re-energized because it's the next day. I've still been going to town in there and I'm almost done. <sighs> Number seven. Now, when I show you the final product, don't be busting my chops about the different colored hangers. The different color hangers don't bother me. I don't walk in my closet and be like, oh my God, I can't even think because the hangers are different colors. That's just me. Okay, the closet is all cleaned out behind me. But first, before we do the big reveal, I wanna show you all the stuff I'm getting rid of. So, cleaned out three bags of trash from just all stuff that I would never give away to anybody. And then, I'm giving away an old suitcase plus seven full garbage bags of clothes that I'm gonna donate. Are you guys ready to see this bad boy? Let's go take a look. Ta-da! Here's an overall look. <laughs> kind of still does look like I have a lot of stuff, doesn't it? But it's way more organized. All right, so here's the scarf area now. There is no pile of clothes on the floor here, people. It's all gone. And then over here, I had like just junk up here. That's all cleaned out. Now I got to jam with hangers. This is all my skirts and dresses. So I've got four skirts. 18 dresses and then remember this look at how nice and clean all the shelves are now that i cleaned the stuff out i never use these shoe things this closet was built like this before we even bought the house i've never used any of those a day in my life my shoes stay downstairs and then over here are all the cardigans right from right here over are all the cardigans longer cardigans and then right here is long sleeve shirts and then I've got camis right there. And then blouses, let's see, right there. Like different tops that would be a little dressier. Then here's my plain colored t-shirts. And right here is my graphic tees. 
And then this is it. Look at, I have five jean jackets. Are you guys amazed? Because you, you would think I have about 50, but that's it. And then here are all my pants from right here over. That's it. And then here are sweatshirts and sweaters. Look at that. That's like five. And then I've got shorter cardigans, blazers. I own three. And here are jackets like bomber or the shacket. You guys see the shacket? So what is that? Six maybe? And then over here I've got sweatshirt jackets. And we're talking like six. That's it. And then over here, remember how messy the shelves were? Uh, here's my swimsuits. I have two. That's it. I do have a couple more in Florida, so, you know. But still, two for up here in my cover-ups. Shorts right here. Skorts right there. Uh, workout attire. Can you tell that I'm not in the work workout mode nowadays because there's not much up there? And my purses and my belts. And then these are my drawers. There's nothing in here. Up here, look at how neat that underwear and sock drawer looks. That's it. That's all I have. Cleaned out all the nasty ones. And then here is my bra drawer. Yeah, that's it. And those are the ones I told you guys about that I love. That I did the video on. And then down here is all my PJs. And each pile is a set. So one, two, three, four, five. Five sets of PJs, that's it. And down here is the t-shirts that I showed you guys. So I'm not planning on probably ever getting into that drawer. So that's why I put those down there because I forgot about my t-shirts last time down there. So why put anything down there again? All right, now my daughter's gonna come in. She hasn't seen the closet yet. So I wanna get her reaction and see what she says. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? I can actually come in my closet now. I feel like it looks like you have more clothes just because they're nicely spread out <laughs> instead of like jam packed together. Right. I feel like I could finally come in my closet and like think, you know, yes. like everything looks so organized. Like it, it hasn't looked like this in a long, long time. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? Like everything is gone. Julia was like, it doesn't even look any different. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, There's seven bags of clothes out there. No, it's uh, majorly different. And you can actually hang stuff out without, without getting crushed. And right. Having to, you know, yeah. force it open to fit one more thing. Very nice. Wow, even though it's straight. Good job. Thank you. Okay. All right, after all of that, I'm so glad to be finally finished. But there were five questions that kept coming into my mind as I was looking at things and deciding whether to get rid of it or not. And I feel like these are the five most important things to ask yourself when you're looking over stuff in your closet. Number one, has your lifestyle changed? Maybe you used to work in an office and now you're retired and do you need all of those office clothes anymore? Maybe you used to like dressing up a lot more and now you just love the loungewear, you're really casual, that's what makes you feel comfortable. So if your lifestyle has changed, you may need to adjust your closet for what you're doing right now. Number two, how do the clothes make you feel? Maybe there are things in your closet that you used to feel great in and now you're like, heck no, I wouldn't wear that. Or you just feel like, eh, I don't know, it's all right. In my opinion, I would say only keep things that you really feel good in and that you enjoy wearing. Number three, has it been in your closet for over a year and you still haven't reached for it? That's pretty good indication that you probably wouldn't in the future, unless it was for a special occasion and you just don't have a lot of special occasions come up nowadays. But if it's a daily basis thing and you haven't worn it or didn't wear it in that season and it passed, I would consider donating that as well. Number four, do they not fit anymore? And like I said earlier, if something was expensive when you bought it and it was one size down or one size up maybe from what you're wearing right now, then maybe keep it. But if you have several pairs of jeans or leggings or whatever it is, dresses that are two or more sizes down or up, 
I would consider giving those the pitch. I mean, I'm when I say that, I mean donate. Because chances are, when you get to that weight again, you may want to consider wearing totally new things at that point anyway. And number five, are you housing a lot of duplicates? Maybe you have 10 tops that are the same exact color and maybe pretty similar in style. Or you have 20 pair of skinny jeans, stuff like that where you're like, okay, do I need that many of each thing or each color? Maybe at that point, look at paring it down and just really keeping your favorites that you feel the best in and that you know you're gonna reach for the most. Now, if you're done cleaning out your closet and you're feeling pretty good about yourself and you're like, okay, what is next? I got room to play and find those pieces that I'm really excited about to put in my closet now. Watch this video next right here. I did a video about the fall 2023 trends and you may see something in there that you're like, okay, I'm getting pretty excited about going out and finding those things. Until I see you next time, my friends, stay beautiful on the inside and out.